first time, get it right. going at all ahead full, also known as max jet, 25 to 30 knots, and you need to be steaming into a 10 knot headwind. Today, we'll make sure, or 100% sure, by taxiing to the number two position, the long ski jump profile, starting on the yellow line, just after the number six deck spot. Okay, where is that? Have a look outside using F2. Use the mouse or number pad to get a view of the whole deck. We're gonna start up, then turn back left on ourselves 180 degrees, past the bridge, and then swing right 180 degrees, just before the arrestor wires, to line up on the yellow line behind gotcha. spot six. Gotcha. Notice also, from a profile view of your flanker, just how far back the nose wheel is compared to where you are sitting in the cockpit, so you can really hang over the edge of the, of the ship. Okay, press F1 to return to the cockpit, and press spacebar to continue. Not sure I like that idea much, but okay. External cam. External cam. It's over there somewhere. Oh, I see it. Right. Uh, press the space bar. Press the space bar. Okay, let's get started. Power on, press right shift and L. Internal cockpit lights on if you need them, press L. Start left, number one engine, press right alt and home. That's right alt and home. Close the canopy now, press left control and C. That's left control and C. And press the space bar to continue. Press the space bar. You'll see the number one engine winding up. Check the RPM gauge, this is highlighted. It's useful to oh. know where the RPM gauge when you first start a new jet, uh, and we will be using it to taxi. Also highlighted below the RPM gauge is the number one engine green ignition light. Okay, let's start the right or number two engine. Press right control and home. That's right control and home. Once you see that spooling up, press the space bar to continue. Press the space bar. Before we taxi, let's fold our wings. There's not a huge amount of room on a usually crowded carrier deck, so all ground movement is done External with cam. wings folded. Press right control and P to fold wings. See if that happens on the right or left shoulders. Okay, now engage nose wheel steering. Press left alt and Q. Okay, the switch highlighted is just forward of the throttles. Oh yeah. Press the space bar to continue. So which is on? Is that engaged or disengaged? Who knows? External cam. External cam. There we go. Alrighty. So, down is engaged, up is disengaged. It's good to know. Look at the RPM gauge. This is highlighted. Now, increase the throttle to 80% to get moving, or in this case, turning straight left, using the number pad plus and minus keys. She's quite a heavy beast. As soon as you start turning, throttle back to 60, 76 to 78% using number pad minus, and keep her going at a nice slow speed. Remember, W are your wheel brakes. Turn sharp left using the left pedal, Z. If you need to brake, W. Correct back right using X. Cinematic right cam. Pedal, and taxi towards the back of the ship. Once you are at the end of the bridge, take that. Pretty cool, huh?
need to slightly more throttle just to keep us going round here. There's a friction. External cam. External cam. I'm lined up correctly here. Okay, it's pretty good. Press the space bar. Okay, so far so good. Uh, we're now going to swing carefully around to the right and line up at the end of the yellow line. Oh. You should be able to see the number six spot front low left of your canopy. When you're lined up and think you're ready, unfold the wings by pressing right control and P. Cam. When the wings are down and locked, lower the flaps, press External F. Cam. Check the gauge on the left hand side is highlighted with five threes. Also, let the wheel brake gauge highlighted down behind the stick. Once you've located it, press W, it goes to the one position. You will need to press and hold left shift and W with the gauge in the number two position to okay. stop the aircraft rolling forwards while the afterburn is light. Then press the space bar. Right, I'm going to try and do this with an external cam. So this could be very interesting. Um, once we get afterburner, we have two, double afterburner, let go of the brakes. A cinematic cam. Uh, when you look at the deck from above, and we just are so good. You know, go ahead and try it as you uh, practice your takeoffs. Um, like wing folding, though, it is a good habit to get into. Okay, now for the really scary bit landing. Press escape to end the mission or fly around at will. Happy hunting. Yeah, I think we'll fly back and have another go at this. I wish all that text would disappear. But uh, yeah, that's. Taking off is easy. Bit fast. And at the very last second, we're too low. Missed it. Aye. Splosh again. That is tough. Just practice. That's all I need is practice. And uh, that becomes second nature. Page up, page up, page up. Same as before. Left shift W. Press the space bar. Green lights. Go. Let go of right. left shift W. External cam. Extra burner. Press left shift E. Wings are down, Stick flaps back. are down. Up. Gear. G. Yeah, really Fly the go. aircraft. Two ten clicks. Twenty meters. Off you go. Relax. My head well done. Just run out of battery again. Happens far too often these days. I have to invest in a new one. For now, we'll just swap. Reset view. Okay. Um, so, extra brakes on. Engines to full. After burners, brakes off. Extra, extra burner. Pull back on the stick. Cinematic cam. Gear up. Flaps up. When you 
using the ski jump from the 6, 7, 8, 9 and M positions uh, when you look at the deck from above. Just so you know, go ahead and try it as you uh, practice your takeoffs. Um, like wing folding though, it is a good habit to get into. Okay, now for the really scary bit, landing. Press escape to end the mission or fly around at will. Happy hunting. So, uh, yeah, I think we've got a lot of tutorial repetition here, like they've reused that bit of chat multiple times over. But uh, let's see if we can land it. We've had a couple of failed attempts. Let's have a go. This will be. This is the last thing of the tutorial. We've done all the tutorials now. I've learned a lot about DCS. I've learned a lot about my uh, rather annoying um, X56 Rhino software. Lots of good stuff to share with you, and I'll put that into a more concise video in time but for now let's just see if I can get where we need to be First time, get it right. For some reason, and I don't know why I did it, I dropped the throttle, which made us drop, and uh, that's the result. Got I see. Even if, even as I did it, I said to myself, "You've got to keep the, the power on. You never ever go to idle. Never go to idle." And as you touch down you've got to whack those throttles fully forward because you've got to get back off the other side despite saying that to myself i just literally dropped the throttle to nothing we dropped 10 15 feet straight into the back of the ship what a ridiculous mistake more practice required but that is the end of the tutorials we've actually finally made it to the end of the tutorials and hopefully by sharing these videos with you you'll get to see exactly the kind of experiences you can get with uh, dcs just on the tutorial now this you can buy this pack the dc3 pack i think for like 25 pounds and you get three or four aircraft uh, plus one map you won't uh, you will get this carrier because it's part of the tutorial um, which I think is incredible value for money. It really is good. The only thing you're going to have to think about or work around are that some of the tutorials I think are a little bit broken uh, and I definitely think they're in the wrong order. Um, and also buttons. Um, now the X56 is really good because you've got three modes uh, which gives you such a huge number of buttons that you can use. But I've also got two MFDs up here. Now, I haven't used every single button available to me, but I'm already running out of places to put things in a logical place. But, uh, yeah, e even just the tutorials, absolutely fantastic. I've learned so much just by doing these tutorials. Now, I guess I've got to get out there, start doing some campaigns. Things like this I need to practice, um, and practice makes perfect. You know, you can't become a pilot in a day, and um, it's taken me two days to, well, a day and a half, excuse me, hiccups, a day and a half to do all this. We pack, I think, for like £25, and you get three or four aircraft, uh, plus one map. You won't, uh, you will get this carrier, because it's part of the tutorial, um, which I think is incredible value for money. It really is good. The only thing you're going to have to think about or work around are that some of the tutorials I think are a little bit broken uh, and I definitely think they're in the wrong order. Um, and also buttons. Um, now the X56 is really good because you've got three modes 
uh, which gives you such a huge number of buttons that you can use. But I've also got two MFDs up here. Now I haven't used every single button available to me, but I'm already running out of places to put things in a logical place. But uh, yeah, e even just the tutorials, absolutely fantastic. I've learned so much just by doing these tutorials. Now I guess I've got to get out there, start doing some campaigns. Things like this I need to practice. Um, and practice makes perfect. You know, you can't become a pilot in a day. And um, it's taken me two days to, well, a day and a half, excuse me, hiccups, a day and a half to do all this. Sorry about the hiccups. It's taken me a day and a half to do all this. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just been brilliant. I've just enjoyed every minute of it. It's, it's been challenging, it's been hard, it's been technical, it's been complex, it's been confusing, it's been frustrating. Uh, the X56 losing that profile is something I haven't really come to terms with yet. I'm basically just going to have to watch my videos and rebind everything and um, start all over again on that one. But frustrating for that. Other than that, DCS itself has been phenomenal. Um, but there's, yeah, a few recommendations I can give to new players to help the transition a little bit more. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments section. Um, I'd be surprised if you watched all of them. That's not really what it's intended for. The idea was to not sugarcoat anything and just show you the process, the time, the effort, the concentration, the confusion, the frustration. Just really let you see what it's like when you start DCS yourself. So uh, hopefully that has been helpful for you. And um, please do hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know how your transition into DCS world is going. And um, yeah, just I hope it helped really at the end of the day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye for now. I'm pulling back on the stick slightly. I've reduced the throttle slightly. We should be coming on to point here. I would say I'd rather be high than low. There is obviously a point where you're too high. Bang on it. There we go. Bottle back up to 8.9. Okay, just in case of holding it now. Again. A little bit too high. Dance on that throttle. Get it right. There it is. That's where we're looking for. Record that. Record that. Record that. Damn near perfection. Bit low. Get the throttle up. For that circle, we're a little bit skew with here. Correction. Oops, ah. mission failure. Bad luck. Happens to the best of us. Have another go. Press escape to end the lesson. <sighs> Still need to practice.